Hi, welcome to Coney Reed Bed on the side of the Droitwich Canal. This is a really exciting habitat that we created about three years ago as part of the Droitwich Canal restoration. As part of the restoration we had to remove quite a lot of reeds, phragmites like these that were growing inside the channel. And that was really important habitat for, for reed warblers and we, it, was, it was really vital that we didn't lose this habitat so this reed bed was created and as you can see it's gorgeous, it's really mature, the reeds are growing well and I just thought I'd come down here today and, and check the water levels and make sure everything was okay and share it with yourselves. It's not only good for reed warblers, we get reed buntings, uh, I've just seen a snipe, so it's a really special place, one of my favourite places on the Droitwich Canal. It's uh, true that as part of the restoration we did clear quite um, a lot of reeds from, from the centre of the channel. You can see there's quite a nice clear channel now that, that boats can travel along. But we've also tried to retain a, a decent and healthy reed fringe um, along the side of the canal. You know, so it's, it's not devoid of, uh, of Phragmites, it's just, uh, it's just cleared that channel so that, that, that boats can travel along. So you can see it's still quite a good, good habitat for a whole host of species, not only the reed warblers, um, but we see kingfishers down here, um, there's otters around, it's, it, it's really quite an exciting place. Okay, I just thought I'd try and show you the extent of, uh, of the reed bed. It's, it's difficult to get a view of all of it because of the lie of the land, um, but this is probably the best vantage point. Just coming into shot now, we've got a, a viewing screen where people can stand and, and watch the reed warblers and snipe and other birds that are using the reed bed. We have planted quite a lot of um, hedging and screening around that to um, to make it better but it's it's taking time to grow up it's something that that will take time but uh, we are constantly managing it we have volunteers out here in the next few days helping us put mulch mats around the bottom of all the um, all the trees and shrubs that have been planted so that should give it a good boost for next year <laughs> 